Hey guys, Frax1006, aka Wonder Mutt, here again. And um, just wanted to give you guys a quick how to video on how to create a, um, a desktop shortcut um, for a virtual machine as well as how to have a virtual machine um, automatically start with Windows. Um, so, what we want to do is we want to navigate to where our virtual machine is saved to. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my computer, and mine is actually saved in my uh, in my document. So since I'm using Windows 7, it has it right over here. I'm going to go ahead, click on my documents, go to virtual machines, and select the virtual machine file that you're wanting. Um, go ahead and do folding one. Now this should be how you'll see it um, if you left just the standard setup, if you followed my last video on how to install Ubuntu in VMware Player. Um, the default, this should be the default folder is the uh, My Documents, Virtual Machines, and then the, um, the folders for your different virtual machines. Um, otherwise you can also just go down to your start menu and do a search for your folding machine. So I called mine folding one and right there the uh, folder pops up. So you just click on that and it pop up for you as well. All right, so let's go ahead into that folder and you'll want to select your VMX file, which is going to be this file right here. It has a little VMware logo um, next to it. And we just wanna right click on it, go send to and click on desktop and that's going to send us a shortcut of the virtual machine to our desktop. And then if you want the virtual machine to automatically start when your computer boots up, um, just go down, click on start, scroll down to your startup, and hit explore. And then we're just going to copy this shortcut here and paste a copy of it into your startup folder. And that's actually all you need to do. And then uh, each time your computer boots up, your um, virtual machine will automatically kick on. So if you've got, um, if you're using this for full, if you're using your virtual machine for folding, all you'll need to do is set up your folding client to automatically start when your virtual machine boots up and um, you'll be all set to go to have it automatically start each time your computer starts up. Now, um, let's say you decide you no longer want that um, in your startup folder, it's just as easy as just going to your startup folder, right click on it, hit delete, it'll ask you to verify, hit yes, and there you go, it's taken out so it won't automatically start with the machine anymore. All right, well guys, I thank you for watching. Um, like, subscribe, feel free to comment, and as always, if you have any uh, questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, or you can find me at www.overclock.net. Uh, just do a search for Wonder Mutt. I should be the first and only user to pop up there. You can send me a message uh, on there. I'll be more than happy to help you as well. So I thank you guys for watching and have a great day.